Hey guys, I'm Brian and welcome to another video of Technonautics. In this video, we're gonna explore how to make a simple navigation view in C Sharp WinForms. First, we're going to make a user interface. Then, let's create a folder and add some user controls that we need to use. For demonstration purpose, I add one label in every user control that indicates its name inside.
Then, let's go and create a class called Navigation Control that will display or to navigate those user control that we made inside of a panel. Inside this class, first let's add the fields that we need. Then, create a constructor for initializing those fields. Then, let's make a private method called addUserController. The purpose of this method is to add or to load all of those user control inside of the panel. After that, call this method inside the constructor so that this will execute automatically when creating an instance of this class. After that, let's create a public method called display. This method will show only the selected user control inside of a panel based on the end parameter index. Then, after we finish creating this class, let's go to form1.cs and create a field of the navigation control object. Then, let's create a method called initialize navigation controls. This method will initialize the instance of navigation control object and also display the default user control inside a panel. After that, add this method inside the constructor below the initialize component method. Now, hold control and select all of these buttons, then hit enter to automatically create the click event to these buttons. Now, add the following codes in every button's click event. After that, let's see if it works. We also need to color the selected button that corresponds to the selected user control. So, let's make another class called Navigation Buttons. And inside, we need to add these following fields.
Then, create a constructor of this class with parameters that is used to initialize those fields. After that, create a private method called setButtonColor. This method will set all the buttons default back color. After that, put this method inside the constructor so that all of the buttons back color value will be set every time when creating the instance of this class. Then, let's create a public method called highlight. We use this method later to color the selected button's back color. Now, let's go back to the Form1 class and create a field of the navigation button's object. We also need to declare the fields that we need to use to color those buttons. Then, create a method that will initialize the navigation button's object. We need to also make a default selected button that corresponds to the default selected user control. Then, for the last part is we need to add these following codes in every button's click event. Now, let's see if it works. You can also set the anchor of your controls to none if you want it to display proportional inside a panel. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe now. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.